Today we're gonna to be talking about how to evaluate integrals of the form sine of mx times cosine of nx dx. And in this particular problem, we've been given the integral of sine of 8x times cosine of 5x dx and asked to evaluate it. So the reason we're talking about this type of integral in particular is that there's a very specific strategy for evaluating it. With many integrals, you can't tell at first glance how to approach it or what to do to simplify the integral. But in this case, when you have something very specific like this, where you have sine of a constant times x times cosine of a constant times x, you can use this identity, which I've written here, to help you simplify the integral. So what the identity says is that when you have sine of a times cosine of b, regardless of the values of a and b, that's equal to 1 half times sine of a minus b plus sine of a plus b. So all you want to do here is identify your values of a and b, and obviously since we have sine of a and sine of 8x, a is equal to 8x, so we'll say a equals 8x. We have cosine of b and we have cosine of 5x, so we know that b will be equal to 5x, and now we can go ahead and use our identity to simplify. So we're going to simplify this integral to 1 half, because we're following the right side of our formula here. So 1 half times sine of a minus b. So sine of 8x minus 5x, because we already identified a and b, plus sine of a plus b. So 8x plus 5x. And then we just want to simplify. We can pull the 1 half out in front because it's a constant coefficient. So 1 half comes out in front. And what we're left with is sine of 3x plus sine of 13x dx. And at this point, it's really easy because we no longer have the product of sine and cosine, which is difficult to evaluate. We just have the sum of two different sine functions. We know that the integral of sine is negative cosine. So what we're going to get here when we evaluate, we'll get negative cosine of 3x but then we have, to, we have to use chain rule, and our outside function is sine of this inside function, which is 3x. So we took the integral of the outside function, the outside function being sine, the integral is negative cosine, we left the inside alone, but now we have to divide by the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of the inside is 3, so we have to divide by 3, so we'll get one third here. Same thing goes with the second function. The integral of the outside is negative cosine, so we'll get minus cosine of 13x. We'll leave that inside function alone. Now we'll divide by the derivative of the inside, so we'll divide by 13. And then we just can't forget to add c to account for our constant of integration. Now we just need to simplify. So we'll pull the one third out in front, multiplying it by the one half, and the negative sign here will give us a negative one sixth cosine of 3x. Same thing here, we'll pull the 1 13th out in front, multiplying it by the negative sign, and the 1 half gives us a negative 1 over 26 cosine of 13x plus c. And that's it. That's our final answer. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.